backing up your website is a very important thing if you have a website. And why do you think this is an important thing? Well, simply maybe your website can get hacked and that's why you should use security plugins like Word, Fence or other cool plugins out there along with a strong password of course. However, even with these measures you might get hacked as well. Or even sometimes when you're installing a new plugin or updating your existing plugins, errors and bugs might happen and this will be destroying your website as well. Or even you might want to transfer your website to another hosting provider. Maybe you're moving from SiteGround to Bluehost or any other hosting provider. And actually most of hosting provider companies will be charging you for transferring your website. So currently Bluehost will be charging you for 150 bucks for transferring your website. And maybe they do it for free someday. However guys in this video I will show you how to back up your website and even how to restore it or transfer it for free using a very easy and simple method. However there are some tricks in there that will save your time and money and make your life much easier. So in order to back up our website we're going to use that amazing plugin in here. It's called All-in-One WB Migration. However here comes our first trick for that video. We're not going to install the recent version of that plugin from our plugins section in WordPress which you can find by the way by going to plugins, then add new and search for all in one and you'll find that plugin. However, by installing that plugin, it's gonna be backing up your website. However, for any reason, if you try to restore your website or even transfer it, you'll find a famous glitch in the upload bar. The upload will be stuck maybe at 0%, 73%, 99%. Simply it will be stuck on the upload for importing your website and you'll not be able to transfer or restore your backed up website. So instead of using the recent version of all-in-one WB migration, we will be using an older version of the same plugin, which will do the job for us. And you can download that older version from my website resources section, and you'll find the link as well in your resources. And if you have installed already a recent version of all-in-one WB migration on your website, you can go to your installed plugins and disable that one, then delete it. So what we're going to do now, instead of install now, we're going to upload our plugin. Then selecting choose file. Then you'll find your downloaded plugin as a zip folder or compressed file. Selecting our plugin, open and install now. Then activating plugin. Now you'll find your plugin installed in your installed plugins. And WordPress will tell you that there is a new version of all in one WB migration. Of course, you don't want to update that because here we're intentionally using that version of that plugin. And if you're not backing up your website every day, you can deactivate that plugin. And whenever you want to back up your website, you can activate it later. However, now let's see how we can back up our website. On left side, you'll find all in one WB migration, then selecting export to export a backup file of our WordPress website on our computer. Here you'll find some advanced options. If you would like to exclude some items of your export, you can select them from here. Then here we have export to. You can export to different areas like Google Drive. However, for now, let's go with file, which will be downloading a backup file on our computer. So selecting that one. Now it's preparing to export. Currently we have our backup file size 290 megabytes. So clicking in here to download that file to our computer. All right, guys, now we have our backup file downloaded to our computer. And that's basically how you can back up your WordPress website. Congratulations on that. Make sure you back up your website every now and then. And now let's see how we can restore our website. If anything happened to your website or even you wanna transfer your website, it's gonna be the same steps. Let's close that for now. Once we have a fresh installation of WordPress on your domain, I mean now we're imagining that your website is down or even you're transferring your website. You will have a fresh installation of WordPress, right? <laughs> then you will need to install all-in-one WB migration plugin, the same old version we just used. And instead of going to export or even import, we're gonna be using backups. Let me show you import first. In a perfect scenario, once you click in here, import from, then you select your website's backup file, it should be uploaded in here, and your website should be restored. However, there is a bug that happens in the upload, and probably your website will never be uploaded. So instead, we're going to use that option in here, it's called backups, okay? 
and here we have that backup we can restore our file from here and this will be working if you are restoring your website to a previous state you should find that backup file in here however if you are restoring your website on a fresh installation of wordpress or even you are transferring your website that file in here will not be uploaded by default in your plugins backup folder and you will have to do that manually by using your website's files manager in your cPanel which you can access in your web hosting accounts so in order to do that we'll go to our hosting account which is Bluehost in that case but don't worry guys if you're using another hosting provider the steps are basically the same you will need to access your website's control panel or known as cPanel so here you can find it in Bluehost on left side clicking on advanced then you'll find file manager which is going to look like that these are your website's folders and if you're using a shared hosting plan and you have more than a website these are going to be all your website's folders as well anyway what's really important whether you have a website or more than a website in your shared hosting plan you'll find that folder in here on left side public html clicking on the plus to expand these folders then we need to expand that folder for our website wb content then you'll find your plugins folder including of course all in one wb migration then you'll find view then backups folder and here you can upload your website's backup file by clicking on upload then selecting that file from your computer and once it's uploaded there on your website you should see it in your plugin like that then you can click restore here's one more hint for you guys sometimes you might need to contact your hosting provider to increase your upload limit and instead of 256 megabytes all the way to 512 megabytes and if you'd like to check your current upload limit you can go to maybe your media then you will find your maximum upload file size for me it's one gigabyte because i contacted already bluehost to increase my upload limit and you should also know that there are some limitations as well to our plugin i mean all in one wb migration as currently we're using the free version of our plugin which is limited also to 500 megabytes per upload and if your website's backup file is larger than that then you will need to upgrade to the pro version however most of regular websites should be below 500 megabytes and if you happen to have a large website you should consider removing some extra plugins and maybe remove unwanted pages that you can easily recreate later and clear as well your website's media from unnecessary files or images before you export your website anyway that's how you can backup restore and even transfer your website hope this video makes your life easier and please don't forget to backup your website every now and then